Welcome back to Silenced Voices, the Covert War series. In Chapter 2, we uncover the global chessboard of covert agendas. Join us as we explore the collusion, manipulation, and far-reaching impact of the covert war on geopolitics. The Golden Dream, Nkrumah's Vision for Ghana. As we delve deeper into the narrative of silenced voices, we find ourselves entwined with the intricacies of Kwame Nkrumah's visionary leadership. Ghana, basking in the glow of newfound independence, became a canvas upon which Nkrumah painted his dreams of a united and prosperous Africa. Yet, the golden dream was not immune to the shadows cast by those who sought to extinguish the beacon of Nkrumah's ideals. Nkrumah's ideals, Pan-Africanism and Socialism. At the heart of Nkrumah's vision lay the philosophy of Pan-Africanism, a call for the unity and solidarity of African nations. He envisioned a continent free from the remnants of colonialism, where each nation stood shoulder to shoulder in the pursuit of progress and self-determination. However, this vision, noble as it was, drew the ire of external powers threatened by the prospect of a united Africa. Nkrumah's commitment to socialism further fueled the conspirators' fears. In a world divided by the Cold War, where the ideological battle between capitalism and communism raged, Ghana's socialist inclinations positioned it as a pawn in a geopolitical chess game. The stage was set for Nkrumah to become a target of international covert operations. The economic agenda, a threat to neocolonial interests. Nkrumah's vision extended beyond political unity. He sought economic independence for Ghana, challenging the neocolonial economic structures that had long exploited African nations. His ambitious development plans, such as the Volta River project, aimed to harness Ghana's resources for the benefit of its people. However, such initiatives threaten the economic interests of foreign powers and their allies within Ghana. This chapter explores the economic dimensions of the conspiracy, delving into the covert efforts to undermine Nkrumah's economic agenda. From economic sanctions to disinformation campaigns targeting foreign investors, the conspirators sought to destabilize Ghana's economy and weaken Nkrumah's popular support. The covert war unveiled, subversion and destabilization. Seeds of dissent, orchestrating internal opposition. The conspirators recognized that to bring Nkrumah to his knees, they needed allies within Ghana itself. Thus, they cultivated dissent within the ranks of political rivals, disgruntled factions, and military circles. Through a carefully orchestrated campaign of subversion, they fueled internal discord, creating an environment conducive to the erosion of Nkrumah's authority. Political opponents, lured by promises of support and foreign backing, began to challenge Nkrumah's leadership. The conspirators skillfully exploited existing fault lines within Ghana's political landscape, turning allies into adversaries and sowing the seeds of discord that would eventually blossom into a full-fledged covert war. Disinformation campaigns, shaping public opinion. The battleground extended beyond political circles. The conspirators understood the power of public opinion in shaping the narrative. Through sophisticated disinformation campaigns, they painted Nkrumah as a dictator suppressing dissent and accused his government of corruption. These carefully crafted narratives, disseminated through both local and international media, aimed to tarnish Nkrumah's image and legitimize the covert actions that would follow. In this section, we explore the mechanics of the disinformation campaigns, analyzing the narratives that gained traction and examining their impact on both domestic and international perceptions of Nkrumah's leadership. External forces, Interpol, the FBI, and the Covert Alliance. Interpol's involvement, a global conspiracy unfolds. As the conspiracy against Nkrumah gained momentum, it transcended national borders. Interpol, an international organization ostensibly dedicated to cooperation between police forces, became a tool in the hands of those seeking to thwart Nkrumah's vision. Under the guise of maintaining global security, Interpol collaborated with intelligence agencies to monitor, surveil, and, ultimately, dismantle Nkrumah's leadership. This section delves into the covert alliance between Interpol and other international intelligence agencies, exposing the complicity of an organization entrusted with upholding the rule of law in a conspiracy aimed at subverting the democratic aspirations of an African nation. The FBI's covert operations, shadows of betrayal. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Atlantic, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, played a key role in the covert war against Nkrumah. Driven by Cold War paranoia and a fear of socialist influence in Africa, the FBI sought to undermine Nkrumah's leadership through covert operations, intelligence gathering, and support for opposition groups. This chapter peels back the layers of secrecy surrounding the FBI's involvement, exploring the extent of their covert operations and the impact on Ghana's political landscape. The CIA's machinations, unraveling the web. The Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, 
with its global reach and covert capabilities, was a central player in the conspiracy against Nkrumah. This section unravels the web of CIA machinations, from covert funding of opposition groups to the orchestration of military coups. The reader is taken deep into the clandestine world of intelligence operations, where loyalty is a commodity and betrayal is a constant companion. African Leaders in the Crossfire The Pan-African Dilemma, Unity vs. Betrayal As Nkrumah's vision of Pan-Africanism collided with the covert interests of external powers, other African leaders found themselves caught in a moral and diplomatic dilemma. This section explores how the conspirators leveraged alliances and rivalries among African nations to further their agenda. Some leaders, fearing the repercussions of supporting Nkrumah, distanced themselves, while others grappled with the ethical implications of betraying a fellow African leader. The Complex Web Unraveling As we navigate the intricacies of Chapter 2, the complexity of the covert war against Kwame Nkrumah becomes increasingly apparent. From internal dissent to international alliances, the conspirators wove a web of betrayal and subversion that threatened not only Ghana's sovereignty but also the very ideals for which Nkrumah stood. In the following chapters, we will witness the unfolding consequences of this covert war on the lives of Nkrumah, Malcolm X, and the pursuit of justice. The shadows cast by Interpol, the FBI, the CIA, and other African leaders will grow darker, revealing the true extent of the conspiracy that silenced their voices. Thank you for joining us for Chapter 2 of Silenced Voices, the Covert War series. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next chapters as we delve into the intricate threads of covert collaboration.